Good morning, peeps. Look at my ladies this morning. Hello. Hello. What's my ladies doing? What's my ladies doing? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, peeps. It's kind of a cloudy day here. Kind of a cloudy day. It's been an interesting day. It's been an interesting 24 hours. 48 hours. I don't know. Okay, so if you see any redness in my face whatsoever. Yeah, I still got red in the eye too. <laughs> Everybody that sees me, what happened to your eye? Hey, this looks good compared to what it looked like last week. A couple days ago, I had a procedure done on my face called Tixel, T-I-X-E-L. And it's a laser and they numb your face with this cream. I don't know. I think it has to sit on there 15, 20 minutes. It numbs your face enough to, when they do this laser, it makes this little mark on your face, plus it's hot as hell, I guess. And, they, and I guess you can't get it done unless your face is numb, because it would hurt too bad. But it doesn't hurt when you're getting it done. Anyways, it's supposed to be resurfacing, so it helps get rid of your large pores, it helps get rid of age spots, it helps even out your skin tone, it helps firm up your skin. So, expecting some miracles. <laughs> I purposely don't have any makeup or powder or anything on because I'm trying to let my skin heal. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys. You know, we've been through hell and back with Lamar these past couple years with a surgery gone wrong, emergency surgery the next day, a year later, a back fusion, two months later, pacemaker, and this past January hip replacement. So he still complains that his back hurts and he's become extremely hunched over. I don't know if you guys have been able to see that in the videos that we have shot. And being the caretaker I am and his nurse maid and his personal trainer and his coach and everything I have to be, he wants to lay in bed a lot. So I'm basically saying all the time, get out of bed, walk, you need to walk. The doctors want you to walk. You gotta walk to heal, you know, get stronger. Well, we were referred to this new doctor through some friends of ours. And he's a back doctor that studied at Mayo Clinic. I mean, like his resume is like freaking amazing. Anyways, um, we finally got an appointment with him uh, yesterday and he had to get this back x-ray done before we met with him. So we took the x-ray in with us, and x-rays can't lie. And it was just interesting to find out, looking at this x-ray, that the back fusion did not work. Lamar has broken screws in his back. And because of the broken screws, his spine is now twisting and hunched and, and not able to support Lamar. So that's causing the, that's causing Lamar to lean forward because the fusion's not holding him up like it's supposed to. And what's really sad after we got that news yesterday was the doctor that performed that back fusion came highly, highly, highly recommended. We researched that doctor, like the first doctor that did the screwed up surgery the year before, came highly recommended. That particular back doctor that told us to pick him said, if I was gonna have anybody in my family have back surgery, this is the doctor I would use. And my neighbors all knew him and they were like, yes, he's great, he's great, he's great. And screwed up surgery, the next day emergency surgery. So after coming out of that and finding out that Lamar needed a back fusion, we started on the quest for the best doctor in Houston that would be able to do this. And it came down to this particular doctor and another doctor down at the medical center 
that were like top notch, like the best. And we went with the doctor we chose because he was in the woodlands. I'd be able to go be with Lamar, see Lamar, visit him, you know. And they left the bone stimulator in way too long. It was only supposed to be in there like three to six months. It was left in for a year. The bone stimulator is supposed to help stimulate the bone to grow around the fusion, the screws, and everything. Well, somewhere, the doctor kept saying it was a success, everything's amazing. And so yesterday when we saw this x-ray, and you could see the broken screws and everything that's going on with his back, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's frustrating because Lamar was like, why can't I find a doctor that knows what the hell they're doing or that like it's very frustrating for him because he's been through so many surgeries so much shit you know he's permanently scarred disabled whatever you want to call it uh, the man cannot use his manhood to urinate out of you know he still has to catheter himself he still has to wear diapers absolutely no sex life you know I'm like but I'm just saying you know that has left him permanently, I want to call it disabled. Uh, we haven't been able to fly. He hasn't been able to travel. Things that he wants to do. He can't play golf. You know, he just, he, he's, he's trying like hell to recover. You know, and, and the more he tries to recover, the more we find out that stuff didn't get done right. Like, like the doctor yesterday said, I would have never put such little tiny screws in a six foot seven man. Like, Lamar's a big man, big bones, big frame, big. So it's like, what do you do? And then he says to the doctor, I don't know if I can do any more surgeries or I'll be divorced. This is so hard on Teresa. Well, it's hard on him too. I mean, it's hard for everybody. And so, I don't know. It's, it's very frustrating, guys. I don't know if any of you have had this happen but you know I said to the doctor how many revisions do you do like how, how, how many times do you have to fix somebody else's mess up and he's like 50% of the time and I'm like that's ridiculous our health care has gone to shit like 50% of the time you have to fix other doctors mess ups that doesn't give me much faith in these doctors anymore like is this worldwide or is this just in the United States? Like, and he said, Teresa, the healthcare system is broken and doctors are pushed to the limit on taking care of stuff. And I'm like, so that gives you the right to just not do your job right and do it half-assed? What, did you, did you hope that Lamar would be dead in a year and we wouldn't care that his back surgery didn't get done successfully or I don't know I don't know it's very frustrating because I'm sure we all have visions of what life is going to be like as we get older life is going to be wonderful I'm going to retire I'm going to travel life is just going to be so the kids are all going to be moved out life is just going to be so amazing poor Lamar like he's just like this is not how I want to go out in life like and, and before his very first surgery, Lamar was very vibrant. He worked out at the gym. He played golf every day. He had sex quite regularly. He traveled all the time. He was, he was vibrant. He was, nobody ever guessed his age because he was so vibrant. And I know a lot of you haters out there be like, well, what do you expect when you marry an older man? I don't care that he's older. Age has nothing to do with it. I don't care what that number is. When you are married to someone or with someone and they don't even act their age. Like nobody ever guessed Lamar's age because he was so active. He was so youthful. 
And everything was perfect until that very first surgery. That very first surgery that got messed up changed Lamar. It aged him. It depressed him. It, like, like, how you see Lamar is not how Lamar was prior to that surgery. Like, people were just so impressed with um, how just... So, for all of you haters out there that want to come at me and go, Oh, well, what did you expect when you married an older man? Age has nothing to do with it. It's just like when people find out my age, they're like, What? You're not that old. You don't act that old. That's because when you live right, eat right, take care of yourself right, you don't have to look that number. You don't have to look like you're old and decrepit just because the calendar says you're that old. I mean, like... Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I don't know what lies ahead for Lamar. I don't know. There's a couple different surgeries they talk about doing. One surgery is front and back, meaning they cut you open in the front, they go in through the front around the belly button and around organs, and they do all kinds of stuff to your spine from the front. You stay in the hospital that entire five to seven days afterwards. And then they go back into surgery and do everything from the back. So it's two surgeries, back to back, but seven days apart. Each surgery, six to seven hours long. Then they have to wonder, can Lamar actually handle that? Can his heart handle it? Can everything else handle You know, I mean like, so that's one surgery. The other surgery would be to go in and kind of temporarily kind of fix some stuff, but not fix everything. Then we find out also, because he's been so short of breath, and I'm thinking it's because he's laid around for two years, his heart, which is a muscle, is just weakened, so we just need to build it back up. Well, now he's got to go back in for a test, because now they think that the valve, somewhere in the middle of this main valve, it's calcified. And so, not sure if he has to have a new valve in his heart. So, <laughs> it's been like, so we might have to fix that before we can fix that because this keeps you alive. Your back doesn't keep you alive. Yes, you want to get rid of the pain. Yes, you want that fixed, but this has to get fixed first because without the heart working right, that's, that's your livelihood. That's how you live is the heart. So that has to be taken care of first. So I don't know. Appreciate your... Your, your prayers, like I said, don't mean to be a Debbie Downer here, but, you know, I, I try to be open and honest, and, and my life is an open book. So I just try to, like, share with you guys what's going on with Lamar. So we just, we want him to catch a break one of these days, and he just wants to get back to being normal again. So anyways, we had some interesting things happening here at the ranch today, so let's get on with that and show you what happened. So this morning, we have someone out trying to see if they could figure out how to get rid of the bees. Remember, a couple weeks ago, we showed you guys the swarm of bees. So, ABC Pest Control is out here, and he's trying to spray some stuff, but I think they are gonna probably take off some tile. Oh Lord, you wouldn't catch me up there doing this. No, 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 sorry. Let's see what they come up with here. Interesting. These guys take care of all of our pest problems. Okay, now my roofer guy is here because I got it for you. Now they can't seem to find where these bees are living. Okay, they found the beehive. It's up there in the soffit. Holy Christ. 
I could get closer to show you guys the beehive, what it looks like, but I don't want to get stung. These bees are coming out like crazy. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and run. We called the bee guy and he's like, they're actually starting to fall out. And out. Ooh, they're getting on so me. He, uh, ah. he went ahead and bogged them and did his Oh my God, there's so many of them. Today, tomorrow, we should be able to open it up no problem. So we go ahead and we drank spirit that night and hung out there on the ranch and went to sleep there at the ranch, but that's where we were staying at while we were doing the work. Woke up he's that he's morning, spraying oh, something in there that's, that's the causing them to die and fall out. Some of them were, they were all dying. I don't know if you can see, guys. We got up and started walking around. Still got some. Yeah. Yeah. Still got stung a few times, but when we swept it up, see him falling out. Whoa, around, see him? The just a falling out like crazy, coming out like crazy. It's unbelievable wow. now. Look at that. I don't know if you what guys is? can see, but that is a honeycomb up there. That is a beehive up inside that sofa right there. You see all those lines? That is a big, whole, big old beehive. Hopefully, he can get rid of it today. He's actually trying to get that hive out. There's a lot of honey up there. A while ago, he pulled his wrench out and the honey just came dripping down the wrench. I said, is that honey? He's like, yeah, there's a ton of it up here. Wow. Always something exciting happening. I guess he's trying to get that honey bee hive in the bucket. Wow. I guess the queen bee is in there somewhere, maybe. I don't know if you draw the short straw. <laughs> you draw the short straw to get this job. I don't know. Or else you gotta like bees. I don't know. Hmm. See what he's got in his bucket. Holy smokes. Yeah, but it's in like the entire bottom. It's uh -huh. just, I mean, you can see the liquid. It's all filled with honey. Right. Yeah, and so, and then even these, I mean, you can just push wow. honey out of there. look at that. Did you get the whole thing out? Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. I mean, oh, it filled, wow. filled up the entire bucket. Yeah. There was like, uh, like five or six separate, like, yeah, um, like separate sections of the hive. Wow. So that was interesting. <laughs> Good thing my roofer guy came by to try to help this poor kid because I don't think this kid knew as much as what he was supposed to know about the removal of bees. But my roofer was able to stop by. He was on a job uh, close by and he said to the kid, you know, why don't you tear open the soffit? Because I think they're at the soffit. They're not really in under the tile. I really think they're in the soffit. The kid didn't have a saw with him or anything. My roofer gave him his jigsaw, said, here, open up the soffit. He opened up the soffit, voila, there was the beehive. So, yeah, interesting, interesting. That's why I have everybody in my back pocket in my phone book, because they said they could take care of it. I had to pay in full before they could even come take care of it. 
clearly the kid got here, didn't really know a lot about what he was doing, didn't have everything he needed to take care of the job. Thank God my roofer answers his phone, gets over here immediately, helps out. So kudos to all of my guys that are just, you know, they've been with me for years. I don't care if it's Sergio and his team, the plumber and his team, the electrician and his team, my roofer and his team, it just doesn't matter. There's a reason why you guys form relationships with people and you get good people and those people stay with you for years and years and years so that when you have to call upon somebody, boom, they answer their phone, boom, they come right over, boom, they help you out. So that's another reason why I love working with the people that I work with because they're loyal and they, they know I'm a good person and I keep them employed with all kinds of stuff. So on a good note, guys, my new website is up. My new and improved and a beautiful website is up. I want you to run over there and see it. TeresaRomer.com. The link is up. I love my new website. Thank you, Shane, with Ledford Media for doing an amazing job on this website. I love it. It's just, it's so much more beautiful and tech savvy and amazing. Uh, you can get on there and check out what the vault is all about. It, it explains it. Uh, my new my skincare line is on there, coaching, like just everything about Teresa Romer. That's, that's literally now my new portal. Uh, it's so much better and prettier and amazing than my old website was. I'm very impressed with it. I hope you will be too. But like I said, get over to TeresaRomer.com and check it out because it's I'm so happy and proud. Uh, been working on that for a while too. So, so glad that that is up. Um, Ledford Media is amazing. He's out of Arizona. Uh, he's worked with me for years and years and years. Also, um, does amazing work. Uh, so, we'll put his information in the description box. Also, so like I said, if you're interested in the vault and what we do in the vault, uh, my website helps explain that. Uh, it's amazing. So anyways, guys, it's been an interesting, wacky, wacky Wednesday. And I will give you the information. We'll put the information in the description box. Um, the med spa that I go to for this Tixel, um, T-I-X-E-L. But it's an amazing procedure. I just had my second procedure. Um, I think I'll get the third one next month. I think it's a package of three. Um, but anyways... It's for saggy skin, discoloration of skin, just overall appearance of skin. So I'm, I'm excited. This was treatment number two. We've got one more to go. So with that said, guys, I hope you're having an amazing, amazing Wednesday. It's a little wacky around here, but we're going to get through it. Uh, keep Lamar in your prayers. Check out the new website, TeresaRomer.com, and uh, we'll see you guys on Friday.